Welcome to your Nexus 2 tutorial. In this video, we will talk about how to integrate your blue Trident sensors with Nexus 2. To enable you to capture data from the blue Trident inertial measurement units, otherwise known as IMUs, and optical markers simultaneously, you can use IMUs as digital devices in Nexus to stream and capture data. You can use IMUs to preview data in real time and to capture data onto the IMUs internal memory. You can then plug the IMUs into your computer via the USB and use Nexus to download the captured data. In this video, we will talk about the requirements to utilize the Blue Trident sensors within Vicon Nexus 2.10, how to add the Blue Trident sensors to Nexus, the properties of the IMUs, how to sync the sensors with the Vicon system, align the sensors to the world as well as segments, capture data with the sensors, as well as downloading data. Before using the Blue Trident sensors with Nexus, please make sure you are running Nexus 2.10 or later. Ensure the computer is running Windows 10 and the latest updates have been installed. Make sure the Blue Trident firmware is up to date. Firmware can be updated using the Capture U desktop application. Verify the supplied Bluetooth dongle is plugged into the Windows PC and that its drivers are up to date. Lastly, ensure your Vicon IMUs are charged and within Bluetooth range. To connect the Vicon IMUs to Nexus, go ahead and open up the software. Within the Systems Resources tree, right-click on Devices and click Modify Whitelist. A Whitelist Devices dialog box will open. Now select only the names of the IMU sensors you want to connect. If the list is long, you can filter through the sensors by typing in the serial number within this box. Once sensors are selected, click Check Selected followed by OK. Within the Systems Resources tree under Devices, all the Vicon IMUs that you checked within the whitelist are displayed as connected devices with a green play icon next to each IMU name. The sensor coordinate system is displayed in the bottom right of the 3D perspective view. Nexus stores your selection of connected sensors in a configuration file so that they are remembered when you next use Nexus. If you need to add or remove sensors, you must modify the whitelist again. Nexus supports the use of up to 18 current Vicon IMUs, dependent on which chosen axes and stream rates you have. All the available axes automatically stream. If you disable a channel, the channel will go yellow. To view the settings for a connected IMU, select it. Its settings are displayed in the Properties pane below. Here you can see its name, which is initially assigned by Nexus as its serial number, the battery level, and other properties. Within the properties, you can determine which set of outputs you would like to capture data from. The lists are preset output channels, which are displayed as axes on the graph. You also have the ability to change the stream rate. Nexus automatically synchronizes your IMU sensor data to your Vicon system so that the IMU data is aligned with the optical data. Depending on your system setup, IMU data is synchronized via a hard or soft sync. If a Vicon beacon is present in the Nexus system, a hard sync is used by default. If you are using a high number of sensors and or need a high degree of precision in the synchronization of your data, Vicon recommends that you use hard sync. To set up the beacon for hard sync, please go to the Systems Resources pane and select the beacon. 
Within the properties, you will need to make sure radio enabled is ticked on and a radio channel is selected. To confirm that the Vicon IMU sensors can automatically detect the beacon, ensure prefer radio sync is selected in the properties for the Vicon IMU sensors. If no beacon is present in the system, the system will use Bluetooth as the soft sync. Soft sync is good for systems using a low number of sensors, as well as those who don't have a need for precise synchronization of sensor data to optical data. If required, you can align the global angle outputs from IMUs to the Vicon world. This enables global angles from the IMUs to correspond to specific segments within Nexus. Before you begin, ensure you have calibrated your system in the usual way and that the IMUs have global angle outputs selected within their properties. The supplied Vicon IMU alignment clip enables you to attach a Vicon IMU to the active wand. To attach a Vicon IMU to the wand, Locate the hole above the wand handle as indicated in the image. With the Vicon IMU figure facing up on the clip, attach the clip to the wand. Slide the clip down so the clip attachment is inserted securely in the hole. Then insert a Vicon IMU into the IMU clip. To align the IMU and Vicon worlds, Go to the Communications pane and click on the I Measure U tab. And in the Alignment pane under World Alignment, click Start. In your capture volume, wave the wand for several seconds. In the Alignment pane, Alignment Residual is displayed beneath the Stop button. Under World Alignment, click Stop. The IMU world for the selected sensor is now aligned to the Vicon world for the L-frame object. In order to align all other connected sensors, go to the system tree, select the sensor that is now aligned with the Vicon world, and on the I Measure U tab in the alignment pane under Update Alignments, click Copy. This copies the world alignment value from the aligned sensors to all the others. Prior to aligning the sensors to a segment, make sure you've aligned the sensors to the world. Select the IMU you would like to align with a segment. In the alignment pane under segment alignment, click start. The start button changes to display align to segment. In the resources pane, subjects tab, select the subject segment that you would like to associate with the selected IMU. Now click on Align to Segment. The selected IMU is now aligned with the selected subject segment. Repeat these steps for each IMU sensor you would like to align. Nexus enables you to capture IMU data so that you can perform offline processing on it. Before capturing data, ensure all the required access channels are enabled in streaming. To capture IMU data, in the Captures Tools pane, enter in trial name and other details. In the Data Source Setup section, ensure device data is selected. Click Start to begin capturing and capture your subject's movement in the usual way. When you finish capturing, click Stop. The stream data is saved into the current session folder and is displayed as an X1D file within data management. To use the onboard IMU data, you must transfer it. However, to view the streamed data, load in the X1D. In the 3D perspective view, the IMU coordinate system will be displayed if global angle was selected. You can also plot any of the axes that were recorded. To download IMU onboard data to the current session folder, in the Communications pane, click the I Measure U tab. In the Transfer pane, a list of all the IMUs and trials available to transfer is displayed.
to transfer the IMU onboard data, connect the IMU to the cradle, and connect the cradle to the computer via USB. In the transfer pane, the icons to the left of the IMUs that you plugged in are displayed in orange. Ensure the required IMU sensor and trials are selected, and to start the data transfer, select Transfer Files. The progress status is displayed when the data transfer starts. During data transfer, the sensor is temporarily disconnected from the Bluetooth. After a trial is transferred, the progress status changes to Transfer Succeeded. After the transfer operation, for each trial you can find an X1D containing the preview data, as well as a .IMU file containing the higher quality data from the IMU. You can now view and process the IMU data along with the rest of your trial data. After you've downloaded data from the Vicon IMUs, you can delete the data so that the IMUs are ready for reuse. To erase the onboard data, within the transfer pane, select the IMUs and then click Erase Selected Devices. A warning prompts you to confirm that you want to erase the onboard IMU data. If you want to erase the onboard data, click Yes. When the data has been erased, the connected IMUs remain on the transfer list, but all their trials have been removed. Thank you for watching this how-to video. If you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com.